Good afternoon folks and welcome to another episode of Help I Bought a Farm for Farming Simulator 22. I'm Farmer Tom and I had not intended in doing any more videos this week. However, I've just discovered something and I thought I would share it with you. So I've started the game, there's no mods, no cheats. Um, I've started the game as a farm manager, as you can see I've got 1,500, uh, sorry, 1.5 million um, sitting in my bank account. And <clears throat> I'm just going to buy, I'll just buy this field right here. This shouldn't take long. Now, I've done videos on greenhouses before. And I just discovered what I'll call a greenhouse hack. Um, so we go to production, greenhouses, and I'm just going to build a couple of random greenhouses here. Let's put one there. And one there. <clears throat> now, it's known by most that these greenhouses will hold 20,000 litres of water. Um, that 20,000 litres will last 12 months. And if you go back into construction and take silo extensions and this one right at the end here, the supplementary water tank. If you place this water tank within range of your greenhouses, if I place it right here, both these greenhouses will get the benefit of an extra 5,000 litres storage capacity. Okay, so let's have a look at our businesses. So at the minute they've got 5,000 litres in there. It's not showing me the overall capacity. Um, so I will, for the time being, just activate the greenhouses. Tomatoes, we'll just put tomatoes in both. Okay, so there we are just below 5,000 litres of water and you can see there's plenty capacity to go there so for the time being wrong button again sell the supplementary water tank and then go back to check the businesses and now they have zero litres of water so let's top them up. So we've got 32,000 litres of water. And what I'll actually do is I'll build a third greenhouse. Okay, so I've now got three greenhouses, each holding 20,000 litres of water. So that's a total of 60,000 litres of water I need. This tanker holds 32,000. So it's basically going to be two deliveries of water and each greenhouse will be at capacity. Okay, this is delivery number two and all three greenhouses should be full in just a moment now normally when i'm starting a new game on this map i'll build anywhere from six possibly even eight greenhouses in this small field here because it's a nice way of making some passive income or semi-passive income because you still have to fill these up uh, with water. 
Now, the more greenhouses you have, the more water you need. The more water you need, the more deliveries you have to make. So that was basically two deliveries of water for every three greenhouses. Um, and if you're stuck on time, this is a great, a great way to try save some time. Now, so each greenhouse could have 20,000 litres. Yep. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. So what we're then going to do is we'll go to our construction mode, silo extensions. And if we place four of these, we're going to give each greenhouse an additional 20,000 litres. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> it's automatically giving these greenhouses that extra 20,000 litres. You see that one there's got 39,997 litres. Um, so we'll just open up the business. And there we go. It's automatically gave them all an extra oh, 20,000 litres. Now, so that 20,000 litres is going to last one year. So we've got 40,000 litres, so that now we don't need to bother about filling up these greenhouses for two years. So let's fast forward the game two years. Oh, I'm going to need a house. Houses. I just sleep in a caravan. Quite like caravans. Yeah, we'll fast forward the game two years and then I'll show you the trick. Okay, guys. I've fast forwarded the game 23 months. And you can see the storage is now empty. So that it lasts, the water will last just shortly 12 months or 20,000 litres. Now, the trick to this is let's go and get some more water. Okay, so now we have some water. And each greenhouse should require... Have I done here? <laughs> so we don't need this greenhouse. Let's imagine I must have not switched it on or something. Let's imagine. Uh, where are we? So, let's imagine we still have three greenhouses. So, each greenhouse would require 40,000 litres of water. The tanker holds 30,000 litres. So, that would be, what's 40, 80, 120,000 litres. And that would be... A one and a half tanks per greenhouse. So one, two, three, four. So basically five deliveries of water we're going to need to fill the three greenhouses. I don't want to do that. That takes up too much time. So, sell our water barrels. And now each greenhouse only requires 20,000 litres. Okay now, so each greenhouse now has 20,000 litres. Let's go back into production, silo extensions, 
One, two, three, four. And each greenhouse is back up to 40,000 litres. <laughs> so it will cost you a little bit of money every time you do that, but it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, we've got 40,000 litres. 20,000 litres, two deliveries. Replace the barrels and we end up with 40,000 litres for two deliveries. That normally would have taken four deliveries for these two greenhouses. And just remember, the more greenhouses you have, the more deliveries of water you need to make. Um, so yeah, so now I don't need to bother about these greenhouses for two years. Uh, and <laughs> So I just lease the equipment every two years. Um, delete the water barrels once they're empty, fill the greenhouses and put the water barrels back. Cool trick. No cheats, no mods. It's all the base game content. Okay guys, um, I'm going to call it quits for today. I've got some stuff to do. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. really helped me out a lot. And I hope that this information has been of benefit to you as well as it has been to me. Um, until, next time, uh, until next time guys, thank you and the season.